The greatest movie of all time begins with Reed Richards as a kid in school being mocked by everyone for his dream. He wishes to make a teleportation device, but the teacher shuts this down as a pipe dream without realizing that he is talking to the smartest man alive. The only person who believes in him is Ben Grimm, who gets abused by his brother who says it's clobbering time every time he gets beaten up. This gets a weird reference later on. Reed manages to build a smaller version of the teleportation device and both Ben and Reed watch in awe as it successfully teleports a Hot Wheel and returns a pile of sand. We then skip forward a few years and we see that Reed and Ben are presenting their teleportation device in a science fair which gains the interest of Professor Franklin Storm and his daughter Sue Storm. Franklin is impressed by Reed's work and offers him to join them in making a quantum gate for the Baxter Foundation. Reed moves away from his hometown to live closer to the Baxter Foundation and he befriends Sue. Franklin then ropes in his old protege Victor Von Boom saying that they might actually be able to complete the quantum gate this time and Victor agrees because he has a crush on Sue. Very cool. We then see Johnny get injured after recklessly racing his car and gets roped into the project as well as punishment for his action. The four of them then build the gate and become friends with each other. They then run a trial with a monkey and it's successful. They find out that this device is transporting stuff to a mysterious planet. So the facility supervisor Dr. Allen decides to assemble a group of astronauts to visit this planet that he's named Zero. But Reed, Johnny and Doom decide that they should be the first ones to go since you know they made the device. And later that night when they're drunk, Reed calls up Ben and the four of them then then take the machine to planet zero and sue is left behind to cover for them and to bring them back in case stuff goes bad and spoiler alert stuff goes bad basically once they arrive to planet zero victor attempts to collect a sample of this green thingy which then causes the entire planet to erupt with green lava and basically everything breaks down reed johnny and ben manage to escape back through the pods but doom doesn't make it and he gets sucked into the planet sue manages to bring them back but the machine explodes altering the four on a molecular level giving them superpowers they are then studied by the government where we see that reed is super stretchy and Ben is a rock-like creature. Johnny can go on fire and Sue has telekinetic powers. Reed manages to escape from being held captive by using his abilities and goes on to find Ben and vows to help him but he disappears without a trace and is now on the run. One year later we see that Alan has managed to get the government to use Ben's abilities to help them with their missions. Johnny is supposedly next to join the missions much to Sue's dismay and Sue can now make things invisible as well as controlling things with her mind. We then see that Reed is now living under the radar by altering his appearance and is still on the run. Sue manages to detect where Reed is because she too is super smart. Ben is then tasked in retrieving Reed and is successful in doing so but we do see Reed use his powers. Reed then apologizes to Ben on the plane but Ben says that Reed can't change anything and they are no longer friends. Johnny and Sue have been given specialized suits that can transform with their abilities and Reed is also given one as well. Reed has been tasked to make another portal so that the government can send their soldiers to go and gain abilities meaning that they can rule the world. Classic superhero movie government stuff. Turns out that a bunch of really smart scientists couldn't figure out what was the issue that was holding them back from making the machine but Reed figures it out in two seconds because plot. They manage to boot the machine up once again and a team of explorers are sent to uh, explore the surface. But they find Doom still alive but he looks completely different. They bring him back to earth and we see that his spacesuit has fused into his skin as a result of the planet. And Alan tries to make a deal with Doom but Doom decides he wants to destroy earth so he can rule a planet with no people on it. Why? Because plot. And we see that Doom can control the elements. He then goes on a killing rampage and this scene is actually quite cool. He then kills Franklin before returning to planet Zero but manages to make the gate consume earth and is a essentially a massive black hole. The team then head to planet Zero to confront Doom and stop him but they all just rush in on him one at a time and it doesn't work. Reed then gives a pep talk about how they are unstoppable as a team and they are successful in beating Doom. Now where have I seen this before? We also get this gem of a line. I am smarter than you. And Ben drops his classic catchphrase from the comics. It's clobbering time! Except for the fact that it's from the time when his brother used to abuse him. Ben punches Doom into the portal's energy beam and he is disintegrated, meaning he can't appear in the sequel that never happened. Johnny then closes the portal and the team return to Earth. The group are now a bunch of heroes and are given their own base, but they haven't got a team name yet. Say that again? Subscribe and comment below your favourite part of the movie.